Peter. Y you okay? <sighs> I'm getting by. I don't know how I feel about you running this place all by yourself. And these people need help. If I lose a few hours of sleep, so be it. So have you heard from Mr. Lee since? <sighs> no. But the Martin I know couldn't have done that. Whatever's become of him, that's not the one I want to remember. So, how are things with MJ? Oh, it's, uh, well, you know, she's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's complicated. Honesty, that's what got me and Ben through the rough patches. You guys had rough patches? Oh, sure, especially when we were your age. So, are you honest with her? Does she know the real you? Hey, turn it up. I want to hear this. A spokesperson for the police has confirmed that this was the truck carrying the device used in the Grand Central Terminal attack. Oh, it never ends. <sighs> Peter? Captain Watanabe, leave a message. Yuri, where are you? Call me when you get this. I just hope the Devil's Breath is still there, and still secure. If the demons got to that truck, this just went from bad to catastrophic. Now, reports are coming in that Martin Lee, along with exhibiting freakish abilities like those of you-know-who, has lately seemed to display almost a split personality. <laughs> this is hogwash and a clear attempt to evade justice for his crimes. Only a fool would believe that he's Mr. Positive one moment, helping the poor with a smile. Then, suddenly, he's Mr. Negative, blowing up, wait a minute, Mr. Negative. That's gold, Jared. Gold. Trademark it. Stat. <laughs> as I was saying, folks, Martin Lee's evil side, or as everyone is now calling him, Mr. Negative, has been revealed as the culprit for the City Hall bombing.
Look like locksmiths. this way. If I'd actually let you break in, you'd be going away for a lot longer. <laughs> 